In this video, we are going to talk about the latest Elementor 3.4 update, which is basically dealing with the e-commerce or WooCommerce elements. So what's the new update and how it works? Let's find out in this video. So this is our WooCommerce website and I have just created that using a free template from Astra Starter Template. And I have already created a header where we have this logo, menu and the cart icon. So let me just quickly dive in in the back end and I'll show you how or what is going on. So we are in this header editor. On the left hand side, you see we have a logo. In the middle, we have the menu. And on the right hand side, we have this cart icon. So let me just remove this and sh so that I can show you from the beginning. So here we go in our widgets and just drop in this menu cart. So let me just drop it in this column. And here is our cart icon. So we have a lot of options. We can choose a solid cart or maybe a solid basket. So depending upon your design preference, you can choose that. It's pretty straightforward. And after that, we have this option bubble, non so bubble or plain. So this is how it will look if we don't have the bubble. It looks a little weird with the price and the quantity. So it's better we keep the bubble on or keep it on none. So I'll prefer the bubble one. So it's a pretty highlighted one. Right now, if we click on this, there is this drawer opens up from the right hand side. And for that, we need to go to cart. And right now the cart type is showing slide cart like this. Or maybe we can open this cart from the different side. And the new addition is this mini cart. And if we click on this cart now, we have this small pop up kind of stuff opening up. And we can align that as well from left, right or wherever. So I'll choose this as a much preferred position and you can choose the distance from the cart icon. After that, we also have this uh, few settings for the close icon and remove the item icon and all. So this is pretty much how it will look once uh, any product is added in the cart. So if we scroll down, we have few more settings which are more important. And here and here you see that we have an option for view cart or checkout that will be visible here. So we will see that in a minute. Below that, we have the option for automatic open cart. So if we turn it on, so it will open up this drawer or this pop up once we add any product in the cart. And the next option, it says automatically update cart. So that's pretty straightforward that whenever any item is added in the cart, it will update all the things in the cart. Along with that, if you want to open this drawer, you can either click on this icon like this, or we can go ahead and turn it on mouse hover. So if we mouse over on this, it will open up like a menu. So for this mini card, this pop up kind of thing is looking good when we mouse over. But if we choose the slide card, it looks a pretty odd. I mean, this big giant menu is opening up once we mouse over. So I would prefer to keep it on mini card if I choose mouse over action. So here it looks a little bit decent. So let's update it and see how it works in the front end. So this is the front end of the website and please excuse the design bugs. I just quickly imported the site to get started and see how this thing works. So right now we have this cart icon here and we see that the drawer is opening up once we mouse over on it. And let's scroll down on one of our product here. Here it says the product is added to cart. And if we scroll up, the drawer also says that the product is added. Now, if you realize that there is something missing here, if we go back in the settings, here we have added automatically open cart. It means whenever I should add any product, it should open up this drawer instantly. But the problem is right now, if our menu is not sticky on the top, if I scroll down, the menu goes up. And when I scroll down to any product and add that to cart, it will add the product in the cart, but I do not see the cart pop up or the cart drawer opening up. For that, I need to scroll back up and now I see that this drawer is opening automatically and it's working. So if in case your header is not sticky, so you won't be able to see how this uh, automatic opening up of this drawer happening. So let me just remove these products once and 
if we go back in this header section let's click on this main row and let's go to advance and in the motion effects let's make it sticky on the top so i'll update that and i have also added a background color here so you can add color of your choice so now our menu is sticky so let's update this and if we come back on the front page let's refresh it once again now if i scroll down i see that the header is now sticky and if i go down to the products and now if i click add to cart now i see my drawer is opening up automatically so that's how it was supposed to work if i add another product the drawer again opens up and that's perfectly fine here is one more problem if i go on any product page right now my add to cart and my header is at the same viewport i don't have to scroll down to get to the add to cart button now watch what happens when i click on add to cart the product is added i got the notification here but i do not see my cart drawer opening up if i scroll down and go to these products and if i now click on add to cart now the product drawer is opening up so i think there is a little bit of bug or if there is something i am missing so i'm not sure if i am missing something then do let me know in the comment section below but i think it's not working when i am on the product page and then adding the product to the cart so i hope we will be able to see a fix very soon if it is a error and i am not doing something wrong along with that there is another update that we can have product tags on anywhere on the wordpress website so let's go ahead and edit this page so right now we are opening the home page in the elementor editor so here we are in our elementor editor so let's say we want to add this product or any of the product directly into cart right from our banner so instead of this text we want to show the product title so if i select this title here and if i go to this dynamic tags and if i scroll down i can see the product title here so if i select that from here i need to select the product name so maybe i just select this hand picked red chilies so now you see that the banner title got updated to this product title and if i select the text below this and if i go to dynamic tag again scroll down and here we can select product short description once again i select the product as red chilies now we have the product short description here and after this short description instead of this shop now button let's click on this we see that this is a normal button so if we go ahead and remove this and we add custom add to cart button here let's drop it below the short description and let's select this and here we again select hand picked chilies so if we go in the button we can also edit that so we can write something like that and maybe we can play around with the position as well and if we update this let's open that in a new tab all right so now we see that our hand picked red chilies title short description and buy now button is available here and let's open that product in a new tab and if i go ahead and edit this product now let's change something in this title so just type in any random stuff just to make it a little bit different and also in the short description now let's go ahead and update the product so here we have the new text in the title as well as in the short description now let's refresh our home page so now you see that the new text in the title and the short description is also showing on the home page which means that whatever edit you do in the product title or in short description will be visible on anywhere where you are using this product tag or this product short description tag so that's a really good feature for creating these custom product pages and maybe landing pages or anywhere you want to use these product tags so this is the new update from elementor pro 3.4 which mainly focus on woocommerce especially the mini cart and the product tags so do let me know in the comment section below what are your thoughts about it and 
Do you also see there is a little bug with this mini cart or what improvements you want to add in this mini cart option? So do let me know in the comment section below and if you like this video then make sure you hit the like button and to see more videos like this make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I upload the next video. So that's it for this quick tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.